afternoon baseball here on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Yankees and the Tampa Bay Rays. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. The 3-1 pitch. High in the air down the right field line. Right fielder is on the run. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Here's Miguel Andohar now. In prior outings against Charlie Morton, he's just one for six. 3-2 pitch. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Now the one-and-one one pitch. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Now that's when you know it's a good pitch. He broke off a really nice breaking ball down in the zone right there. And even though this is one of the best hitters around, he waved right through it. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the shoe out. Man at second here with two away. And that'll bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year, Big Aaron Judge. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Stepping up now, Joey Wendell. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Hard hit ball to second. Well, this will be taken in at second base. Good positioning for the first out. Stepping in, Jose Martinez. In eight at-bats in the series, he's collected three hits. Hit down the third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Payoff pitch one more time. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Coming to the plate now, Austin Meadows. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Cole has his target. Here's the 3-1. In there for a called strike. Three and two now. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. Here's a swing, and oh, man! Way out of here! So now to the plate, Brandon Lowe. Fouled off. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. Two hits and eight tries for the series. 1-1 one, one home. I got 2-1 to count. He walked the guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to... And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. Running hard, he's digging for second. And the Yankees are in business here. It's a leadoff double. Standing in now, Giancarlo Stanton. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Grounded up the first baseline. And it's a productive first out as that runner is able to advance 90 feet up to third here. So stepping in, Luke Voigt. As he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. 
Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. Torres at third with two away. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Got him reaching there. Strike two. That's a really nice thing about pitching with the base open. You can work out of the strike zone a little bit more and try to get a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Stepping into the box, G-Man Choi. He's ready for his first at-bat of this early season contest. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Settling in now, Willie Adamas. As he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Hit high and deep out there to left center field. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. At the plate, Yandy Diaz. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. And that pitch comes over to catch the corner. It's two and two now. And the pitch. On deck, the big bat of Mike Zanino. Fly ball out toward left center field. Gardner's after it. But he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. To the plate now, Mike Zanino. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. The one-one pitch. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. And the pitch is off the catcher's glove as it rolls away. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. Back to the top of the order now. And digging in next will be Joey Wendell. On that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. Even though it's early on in this one, anytime you get runners in scoring position, you'd like to knock them in. This one's down to third. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. Here's Brett Gardner now, and he'll start out their half of the third, top of the order to follow. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Barehanded at his knees. Touche, sir. Ready for another chance? Gio Urshela. He flew out in his last at-bat. One out, nobody on. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. On a good pitch there. Had him stretching to get out there. And it's two and two now. Ugh, was that ugly. You could probably throw anything out there to this guy. He'd swing at the Raza bag if you throw it up there. Meadows is right there as he takes it for the second out. Now batter. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. Swinging it well so far in this series. He's three for nine. Now a cutter, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. Grounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Line drive, base hit to right. Yep. 
the second baseman. In now, D.J. LeMahieu. Swing and a miss on the breaking ball, and he sets him down for out number three. Into the box now, Jose Martinez. 0 for 1 here in the early going. The 2-1 home. Is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. I mean, that's a classic case of coming off your backside right there. He lost his entire back leg, was out in front, couldn't keep his hands back. Full count, three and two. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Gardner is there, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Austin Meadows. He went deep in his first at bat, and we'll see what he's got in store for us here. Now the one and one pitch. And he fouls this one off. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Gardner on the move. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Brandon Lowe. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Count is one and two now. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side. set for the start of the fourth digging in now for the Yankees Aaron Judge he was a strikeout victim in his first try things not looking very good so far in this one but we're still in the middle innings they're down by a couple of runs and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going the last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning Kiermaier will slide over and put this one away and that's out number one so the bases are empty with one man gone. And that will bring up Glaber Torres. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Meadows moving back to the track to the wall. And it's gone. Into the box, Giancarlo Stanton. No offer from Stanton. It's ball four, so he'll head down to first. Next for New York, Luke Voigt looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Digging in for his second at bat, Gary Sanchez. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. And this one's in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. The one two is taken for ball two. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Fouled away. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. This is foul right side. From the belt, the pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Standing in, Brett Gardner. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. The set and the 1-1. One, one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at 2-2. Two and 2-2 two. Two and two. here it is. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Boy, not close again. His third walk of the no inning as that misses for ball four. 
Castillo Urshela. This is on the ground to short. Is he going to get out of this? Over to first. He does get out of it, and the inning is over. G-Man Choi, the next to hit. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And the pitch on 2 and 1. Count remains 2 and 2. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And this is swung on and missed in this fourth inning. We'll start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout. And there's one away. Fourth really? inning of a two to one ball game. And there's ball two now. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Now with the plate, Yandy Diaz, one for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. And he's got to build off that last A-B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. He loses him on ball four. So here's Mike Zanino, reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Two and one. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. Here now the 2-2. Two, two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Digging in once again, Miguel Andujar. He steps in off a base hit in his last at-bat. There's a curveball, but it misses well out of the zone. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off-speed pitches. Love to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. Meadows is over near the stands as he makes the catch for the first down. Now that, so that one away good. here with the bases okay. empty. And that'll bring up D.J. LeMayhew. The 1-1 home. Is swung on and missed for strike number two. Fifth inning, 2-1 two to one our score. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the big bat of Aaron Judge. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. Thought this middle of the order might give him a fight and put up a little bit of resistance, but that hasn't been the case. He's carving right through them here. The count now at two and two. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's... And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Kevin Kiermeyer. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Bouncer to the left side. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Now batting. The designated hitter. Stepping in now, Joey Wendell. Pitch inside the throw. Is there to ring him up. The caught stealing for Sanchez. Faces are empty. One man out. To two and two now. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. Full count, three balls and two strikes to the Rays' DH. 
neither guy willing to give in and the at bat will continue. Into center field line drive base hit. Into the box now, Jose Martinez. Outside and a full count, three and two. A ground ball to third, and they could get two. Uh, the throw pulls him off the bag, and he'll get in there safely. So following the error, it's now runners at first and second. And digging in is the outfielder, Austin Meadows. This one gets away. So now two men in scoring position. And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first. So the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk. And the force play is now in order. The 2-2. High fly ball out to deep right field. Gone! It's a grand slam! Well, the strategy to walk the previous batter intentionally was sound, in my opinion. What wasn't sound was the execution of the last pitch, which was promptly deposited far beyond anyone's reach. That stings, but I don't fault the manager for trying to do the right thing. Jay Happ will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. Number 33, Jay Happ. At the plate, G-Man Choi. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. And another foul ball. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. Off the plate that time and a little high. It's even at two and two. Hopped up. And Duhar has a play. Two gone. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next will be Willie Adamas. Six runs, six hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. Here comes Gardner. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Torres. Already a home run and a double for him in this one. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Shoots this one over to first. Giancarlo. To the plate now, Giancarlo Stanton. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Chopper to short. Adamez scoops it up. Throws in time. And that's out number one. Oliver Drake will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Luke Ford. Luke Voigt will be his first assignment down to the bullpen as he'll stand in with a runner in scoring position at second and one away. A swing and a ground ball to third. Throw gets him, two down. Ready for another shot now. Gary Sanchez. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. The 2 1 is a fastball that misses. Doesn't want any part of that cutter, and it's full three and two. You know he wants to end this inning right here on three and two, but 
I don't think we'll see him lay one in on the next pitch there with a base open to work with. And that's ball low four, ball four. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner. It was a walk in his last trip. Brett Gardner. The 1-1 one, one home. Nope, that's down. One run, four hits, and one error on the Yankee line score so far. Hey. Splitter called strike two, and I don't think he liked it. Well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now it sure would be a good time. Two two pitches fouled away. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly. And the inning is over. Bottom of the sixth inning now. And that will bring in Yandy Diaz. It was a walk in his last trip. Line towards center field. And a base hit. So early trouble to lead off the inning. Standing in now, Mike Sonino. A one and two count to the Rays catcher. Now a fastball taken outside here as it moves it to two and two now. And a swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. So here's Kevin Kiermeyer, one for two in the ball game thus far. Easy take there as the off-speed pitch misses well inside. Runners off for second, right side, and that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. And they won't even attempt to run on that arm in right. So despite the runner moving on the pitch, it'll wind up first and second here. So now to the plate, Joey Wendell, two and one to the Rays' leadoff batter. Swung on and missed, and it's even at two and two. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel to that one. Full count now, three and two. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Uh, and that's going to fall. A base hit. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base. And they're loaded with one now away. Okay. And now okay. Jose Martinez over at the knees. And that's the second strike. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Stanton there to take it. Here comes the runner from third. Oh, and look at the throw from Stanton. He is out at the play. Diego Castillo is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 63. Diego. So back to the top of the Yankee order. Digging in, Gio Urshela. It could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. And it's fouled away. The 2 2 one more time. Swing and oh my. Hit him with the hine. And gone. An absolute bomb. 
Hey, you miss over the middle with a sinker, and it becomes more just like your generic two-seamer. Hitter got great wood on that pitch. Stepping in now, Miguel Andujar. Back up the middle. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. Now back, second baseman, DJ LeMahieu. At the plate, DJ LeMahieu. Down low, two balls and a strike. Takes this the other way to right. And that's in there. Base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The right field, number 99, Aaron Judge. Into the box now, Aaron Judge. Lays off the slider that time, two and one. Hey, the bullpen needs to step up in this situation. I got to believe the manager was hoping for way more than this. A too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Fouled off. Now the three and two pick. This one is launched. Look at this. Gone. And that one had some extra distance. Peter Fairbanks will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Peter. To the plate now, Torres. Taken, strike two called, and it's even at two and two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Giancarlo Stanton now. He was a ground out victim last time up. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Donnie extends nicely, and this ball is driven to right field and deep. And oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And there's your tying run at second base with a one-out double. The, bat, the first baseman, Luke Voigt. At the plate now, Luke Voigt. Whoa, and he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Ball three. Three and two now. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start ball giving four, away free passes. Down. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with now only one away. Tepper, Gary Sanchez. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Usually you see chases outside the zone on off-speed stuff like sliders, breaking balls, and change-ups. But to chase a fastball that far outside the zone tells me this hitter's not seeing it well at all. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at-bat here. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. So they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. Brett Gardner will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. And he fouls this one off. Come on now, let's get here. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Last half of the seventh here, so striding in, Austin Meadows. He was given a free pass via the intentional walk last time. Yeah, and he might see another free pass here. If you're going to get beat, 
It has to be by anybody but this guy. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Number eight. So digging in now, Brandon Lowe. He went deep back in the fifth. Hey, this one's pretty close right now. They lead by one. But if you want to really look at it with a microscope, go back to this guy's previous at bat. A huge grand slam to knock in four runs. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third now punch bat. out of the game. Now at the plate, G-Man Choi. He got under one and popped out his last time up. Grounder down the line at third. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Chaz Rowe is out from the bullpen now as he'll be making his first appearance of this young season. Number 52. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Gio Urshela. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. All even now, two and two. Now here's the pitch. Oh, and he gets a hold of this one as it's in the air to deep left. Does he have another one? He does. It's another home run. As soon as this thing left the bat, you knew it had the distance to get out of here. The only question was whether it was going to stay fair or not. And that question was answered with a resounding doink as it caromed off the foul pole for a homer. In now, Miguel Andujar. Outside, two and one. Rowe was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. Three and one to him now. There's the good fastball, and he can't catch up. Three and two. As we near the end of this one, I think it's safe to say that the story of the game has undoubtedly been the long ball. Guys, what do you think about what we've witnessed? Well, as a former offensive player, I absolutely love it. Kudos to both lineups for doing absolute damage today. One of the most fun watches of the year. You know, D-Row, what this shows me is this new age way of guys going up there, and they're swinging hard. You need to make good pitches, quality pitches. And if you don't have command of the fastball, you're in for a long day. And we saw that here this afternoon, a ball flying out at near record pace. Now back, second base, DJ LeMahieu. Stepping in now, DJ LeMahieu. A ball and two strikes now. The one-two. That's a ball. Now a fly ball, but far too shallow to get that run in. Catch is made near the line. Here comes the runner from third. And the run is in to score from third. Jose Alvarado is out from the bullpen now as he'll be making his first appearance of this young season. So no one on now after the sack fly. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Aaron Judge. And here's a pitch swung on and missed. One and two now. That ball's headed for the gap in left center. He's got a base hit, possibly more. Throw into second. At the plate, Torres. And that misses two and one. And he lays off again, ball three. Not a good spot to be in right now. Pitcher's falling behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. There's ball four. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Giancarlo Stanton. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. 
be set. Here comes the 1 1. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. Here's a shot to right field, and that's going to be in for a base hit. The relay, and this will come in far too late. He's in there at third. The first baseman, Luke Boyd. Standing in now, Luke Boyd. Sent on the ground out to second. And he has delivered one of the biggest at-bats of the afternoon as he cashes in with a base hit. Nick Anderson takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. To the plate now, Gary Sanchez. One and two to the Yankees catcher. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero. And a good pitch here, but this is taken for a ball as the count moves to two and two now on the Yankee catcher. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. Brett Gardner will be the ninth man to bat in the inning, barring a double play, waits on deck. High and deep to right center. Kiermeyer giving chase. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and hit for third. And he'll take those extra 90 feet, so put runners at the corners now with two gone in the inning. Into the box now, Brett Gardner, and their runners at the corners now. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Back up the middle. A dive, he's got it. What an outstanding play to end the inning. Chad Green will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. Number 57, Chad. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. Digging in, Willie Adamas. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Up next for the Rays, Yandy Diaz. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. So a full count now. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Now about it. So striding forward now, Mike Zanino. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Two and two. Just out in front of that one, still two and two. Two out, nobody on. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Now the payoff pitch home. Base hit into right center. So they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up. Here, Mario. Into the box now, Kevin Kiermeyer. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two, -two. two out with the man at first. Fouled away. The 2 2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over.
standing in, Gio Urshela. He's coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. Hey, it's never easy scoring runs against a closer, but this lineup is setting up perfectly right now as the leadoff hitter leads off this inning. Had nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Wanted to get the front door curveball on the inside corner there, but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner. Not close with that when it's way above the strike zone. Liner towards second. And this will make its way into center field for a base hit and the leadoff man support now to open the ninth. Now that third baseman. Miguel. Into the box, and Miguel Andujar. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. And that sends D.J. LeMahieu into the box. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. 1-1 is laid off for ball two. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Runners on the move for second. Turned on, but that's ripped foul down the third baseline. Runners on first with one down. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Over 99, Aaron Judge. At the plate now, Aaron Judge. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. this one up low is there and he makes the catch for the second out and now is the Yankees now DH Torres three for four so far and seeing it well in this ball game the one one home swing high drive left field and deep looking up is the left fielder and this one is gone a home run So now to the plate, Giancarlo Stanton, and it's fouled away. Two two, here it is. Fouled off. All even at two and two, here it is. And there's strike three. So we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead as the side is retired. Striding forward now is the D.H., Joey Wendell. He singled his last time up. The 1-2. And, and he fouls this one off. Another 1-2 delivery. And that's high for a ball. It's 2-2. Two and two. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him, so we'll see what pitch he comes with next. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan oh, from the home day. supporters the here. One away. Jose. Jose. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Hey. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Jay Happ would be in line for the victory should the score hold. And he lays off, so it's two. full now, three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Skied in the air to straightaway left. On the move is Stanton. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Now in the box, Austin Meadows. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Chapman sets. Here's the 2-1.
Tampa down to their final strike in this one. Fouled away. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Yeah, they needed him a little bit earlier in this one, but he takes the mound in the eighth and records the final four outs. Four out save. Job well done. 12 to 6, the final tally here. New York played in an even dozen runs to come out on top today. Jay Happ claims the win out of the pen his first. Aroldis Chapman records four outs on his way to the save, his third of the campaign. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Time of the ball game, four hours and 19 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.